Hello, Aries. Welcome to your tower scope. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Aries. What do my Aries friends need to know for July 2019? That. Oh, we got a few. That. 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 Show them the messages they need to see. Aries, Aries, Aries. Angels. Look at all these major arcanas. And can I have one more card, angels please, for Aries. We got two. We'll take them. Uh-oh. Five of swords on the bottom of the deck. What do we got here? Um, Ace of cups in reverse. You know what? I'm going to put this over here. I think you can still see that. Running out of space. I need room for my Kipper cards. All right, that's better. Let's pull three Kipper cards before we start. I did pull a spirit animal for you, and you got the turtle. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Angels, divine spirits, and guides. What messages do you have for my Aries friends for July 2019 show Aries all right I think we're gonna take that one but this is like half the deck because that one fell out in front of me expectation message and can I have one more angels please Aries 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 Looks like the card's got a lot to say to you, Aries, because a lot of stuff is jumping out. Okay. Distant horizons. We got expectation, message, distant horizon. Bottom of the deck is foil and labor. I don't usually use that, but I like to look at it and see what it says. All right. Okay, Aries, the first card that we have for your past. This is your past. This is your present. This is your future. Forgot to say my little spiel. Aries, this is a general reading for all sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. But if I am picking up on your energy today, please be sure to hit the little thumbs up button below the video to let me know that. If I'm not picking up on your energy, go to the description box below. There's a link where you can get a free astrology chart to check your moon and your rising sign and your Venus sign. And go watch one of those videos and see if you want to resonate with one of them. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I just love all the subscriptions. When I get up every morning, it's the first thing that I do is I turn on my YouTube and I see how many subscribers I got. It's very exciting. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you would do that. It's greatly appreciated. One more thing before I start, I just want to say thank you also for the generous donations. They were just, I was overwhelmed with the amount of donations that I got. Anyway, enough of my jibber jabber. I say that all the time. Let's start for real this time. The first card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles, sign of Virgo. The independent single lady who doesn't need anyone. She's confident, she's comfortable, she feels good about herself. She's able to take care of herself financially. The next card that we have is the Hierophant, sign of Taurus. This person could be a teacher or work for a government organization. The Hierophant is all about commitment and marriage. So a single person could have gotten married. Somebody here could be very active in the church because this resembles church to me. This very resembles church to me. 
And the devil in reverse. I mean, the devil's not welcome in church, so that kind of makes me think of church too. The Hierophant is also known to hold the keys to the new home. Someone could be moving into a new home here. This is the past, so this is stuff that has already happened. I also get the feeling with these three cards connected together that someone could be like almost famous on the internet. The Hierophant to me represents someone that has a lot of followers. This is social media, someone being popular on the social network. And then this is, you know, it's kind of like a princess energy. The lady that's in that card is actually a princess and she likes to be showered with the finer things in life, but she does it all herself. Now I want to go to the turtle for a second before I move into your present, because the turtle, um, I pull this before I start because I'm not really familiar with these cards, although I'm getting to know them now. I thought that the turtle was going to say something about slow and steady and taking your time, but it actually says, get out your shield. Nothing can get through the turtle's shell. Harsh words, jealousy. It talks about getting your shield out and standing your ground. And I'm seeing that over here too. This five of swords overall energy bottom of the deck, which is the sign of Aquarius, is someone that's doing exactly that. They are determined to win this argument, and there is an argument going on here. There's definitely some type of disagreement, which we're going to get into, that someone's just determined to win. I feel like somebody wants to end something because they're unhappy, and the other person just isn't having it. The first card that we have for your present is the Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel's all about, you know, fate, destiny, and karma. But when the wheel is spinning, it means it's time for a change. It's a turning point in someone's life. It's divine timing. Someone wants to do something now. And when the wheel is in the upright position, it tells you that, yes, it is a good time to make this change. Take the risk, take the chance. Now in the center of the reading, we have the four of wands in reverse, which is the sign of Aries. And that tells me that there is a disagreement here in the family home. It's no peace, no joy, no harmony, not agreeing, chaos. Like I feel like someone's saying it's time for a change. I want a separation. And the other person's like, nope, that's not happening. Like somebody wants to leave something, either move out of the house, have a separation, leave a job. And the other person doesn't want to let go. With it being next to the Hierophant, I feel like this is a separation of a marriage. I don't feel like it's over. I just feel like somebody needs some time apart. But someone wants to leave something here to be free from these chains, free from this obsession, free from this person that makes you work like a slave. But down here, the Two of Cups, sign of cancer. That makes me feel like... This isn't over, and these people are going to get back together. Now, there could be a chance that someone wants a separation because they've met somebody else, somebody on the internet, or somebody while they were out socializing with their friends. This all here reminds me of a wedding, or makes me think of a wedding. Somebody's having a hard time with wedding plans, like just putting it all together. They feel overworked. But this is two people who are in an agreement, two people who are willing to work on things. It's about a partnership. It could be a home-based business. Now we go into the future where we have the Fool card in reverse. The Fool is the sign of Aries as well. So someone's not getting their new beginning because someone else won't let go of something. Like I have here, take the risk, but then I have a person saying, no, it's too risky, I'm afraid. Like someone wants to take this risk and the other person saying, we can't do that. Are you crazy? One person has a lot of confidence in something and the other person doesn't. So there's just no movement here. But with the fool being in reverse, it does suggest that something is too risky. There's some type of somebody waiting for a message over here. And I don't know why, I just feel like that's significant. And I feel like you should wait because she's looking right at the fool. And she's saying, just wait a little longer. Now we have the devil in reverse, sign of Capricorn. This is what's coming up for you. 
There's an argument coming up for you, Aries. I'm getting like July 15th, July 28th. Someone wants to do something that you feel is foolish and risky. Because this is like resistance of temptation. This person just keeps saying, just wait, just don't do this. Resist your urges. It's not a good idea. And it has something to do with money. Because I got the beginning is money and I got the end is money. Someone's holding on to their money in fear of this change. And distant horizons is also something that you see, but it's not within your grasp. Like it's just not happening yet. But somebody's impatient and they want to do it now. They don't want to wait for the message to come in the future. They're unhappy. You got no new beginning twice. So someone wants this to be over and they want to be free from these chains, but they can't get their new beginning because this other person won't let go. The Four of Pentacles sign of Capricorn. That's holding on for dear life. Mine, mine, mine. That's what I call it. I mean, he's got these queens under his feet. He's got this one here. He's got the other one attached to his hat. And he's like, don't even try to take these queens. They're mine. It's possession. Someone could be overly attached to material possessions. Like... They got married here and the husband treated them like a princess and they got to be social with their friends and wear fancy clothes and plan fancy weddings and things like that. And now that other person is trying to take it away and they're not having it. I do also feel like somebody could be obsessively messaging someone else on social media and you just want to be free from this person. I think that maybe you even think that they're a little bit crazy. Like, does she really expect me to answer her or him? You're going to like log on and you got like 36 messages from one person. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. That's not funny. Somebody doesn't want to let go, Aries. This could also be someone who knows that they want to separate and they're saving their money for the future so they can do this and leave this person because they're not happy says, get out your shield and don't be afraid to snap if you need to. I feel like somebody's like saying, no, you're not going to do that. And I'm going to win this argument. Maybe we can do that in the future. As I look at them a little bit more, my husband has a very funny saying. He says when I'm fighting with him and when he gets mad and he walks away, he'll say, you can't fight City Hall. And it's funny because I kind of feel like this could be City Hall. And this is not, this is fighting City Hall. And this person saying, I'm foolish because I can't fight City Hall. Somebody could be in a fight with City Hall over property. All right, let's pull some clarifiers and see where this is going to go. Angels, divine spirits and guides, what further messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Aries? For the month of July 2019, what do my Aries friends need to know? Show them the messages. They need to see Aries, Aries, Aries. July. 2019. One more cards. Angels, please. Thank you. Page of Cups. Nice outcome. There's another hair. The hair must be falling out or something. My goodness, it's like all over the place. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. <laughs> You're not getting free. Or someone wants to be free. Hmm, this person's just not going to let you go. There's definitely more money issues here. Another separation card, splitting of assets, money concerns, money concerns. Someone doesn't want this change to happen because of money concerns. Like I feel almost maybe someone wants to leave a job that they're not happy in and they feel like they're being treated as a slave there and they want to leave. But they have to go to another job or they're going to make less money. And the other person is saying, no, we can't do that. 
Who's going to buy me diamonds? <laughs> so the first card that we have is the Five of Pentacles, sign of Taurus. And that's about financial hard times. This is still in the past. So that's what the little princess there is worried about. The Five of Pentacles is also someone who's being left out in the cold. So you could have kicked this person out of your home. This little privileged lady. And someone felt like they had nowhere to go. Somebody definitely spends too much money here. I feel like somebody's living beyond their means. They're just not satisfied. There's more church energy here. This is a church too. Something here with this church. I don't know if I've ever even seen this much church in a reading. And I'm getting so much conflicting energy again. Like the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, but the Ten of Cups is in the upright. This argument is still going on. It's going to go on for a while. We do have two tens on the board now. Somebody's having an argument over money, over the way that someone spends money. Someone could have lost their job here in the past. The Five of Pentacles does signify unemployment to me. But it does also tell you that there's help. And here we have the Fool card, sign of Aries again, on top of the Taurus. Somebody wants a new beginning in this commitment. Somebody wants to be free. It's freedom. Free from the devil energy. This represents a risk. Someone wants to take a risk. A financial risk. Because they're trying to get away from something. Somebody could be trying to move out of the home, like their parents' home, because they're just unhappy there. If that's you, be careful because I think that you're going to be financially struggling. You'll be happy, but you're going to struggle. Yeah, like somebody's just going to be free, go out on an adventure, take their little backpack, and leave. Since he's looking at the past, he could want to go, go back to someone from the past. I don't really see that here. I'm just, just the way that the fool was facing made me think about it. But the next card we have is the Nine of Swords in Reverse. Sign of Gemini. So this other person's just not even worried about this. Like, don't be so negative. We'll be fine. I feel like one person is like totally stressed out about this situation. And the other person's just like carefree and like, oh, well, I lost my job. No big deal. But your freedom is going to happen. I got a 10, a 10, and that two of cups is in reverse. Someone could want to quit their job and go into business for their self. And this other person is not agreeing, but they're saying it's time for a change. I just want something more. You could definitely be dealing with a cancer. There's a lot of cancer energy here. I got the two, three, and four of cups, which is all cancer. It's just, once again, somebody that's sad, unhappy. It's time to make a change. This has to end, whether you like it or not. Even if we do have to split up our assets or sell our home. Maybe one person wants to move and the other person doesn't. Because I get a lot of that right here. I feel like one person's just over here writing checks and swiping their card. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And the other person's over here like panicking, like, oh, we're going to lose our home. Stop spending money. Our wedding doesn't need to be that extravagant. But this other person's like, but it makes me happy. <laughs> it's kind of like a funny argument. There's so much conflicting energy here. And I don't feel like it's going to end anytime soon. Even in your future, we got this disagreement over here. But the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups on top of the Two of Cups tells me that there's a lot of happiness in this situation. I feel like these two people really love each other. Or someone could have just recently bought a beautiful home that was outside of their price range. The other person saying, we can't afford that. Are you crazy? I keep using the word crazy. I just keep hearing it over and over. Like, I don't feel like someone is literally crazy here, but this other person is just carefree. Like, oh, we'll figure it out later. It's no big deal. Let's just be happy. Someone wants a change because they want something more because they're unhappy. So then we got the separation here, the splitting up of assets. I feel like somebody could be going with somebody else here because I got the no new start here on the two of cups in reverse telling me that this is over. 
These two people are in disagreement. It's too risky. We can't buy that house. We can't have this big wedding. I don't think it's a breakup. I don't know. I, this is so much breakup energy here, but I'm just getting like, I get a lot of love here, but then I get a lot of chaos and financial hard times here. Or somebody breaking up with a, you know, a crazy person. The Two of Cups sign a Cancer again. It's not being in agreement, not making a decision. And it most certainly signifies a breakup here with no reunion, no getting back together. See, somebody down here wants the reunion. They want the happy family. And this other person doesn't. I almost feel like somebody's like begging. Like, please don't leave me. You're like, I just want to get away from this person. It's over. The close of the chapter. Hmm. Successful completion. What's under here? The Eight of Pentacles. See, the other person wants to work it out. They want to work on the relationship. Everything in this reading is conflicting. And then the Tower, I mean, sign of Scorpio. Someone's resisting the change here. Someone does not want this to happen. Someone's not accepting that this is over. They're just going to keep sending you messages. They're holding on. Mine, mine, mine. I'm sorry. Come back to me. You could even have a child with this person. But this is something that happens out of the blue. It's a loving message out of the blue. And the tower is also something unexpected. But Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, more Cancer. If someone was planning a wedding, there goes your invitations. Even though you're in disagreement, with your significant other who you love so much about this extravagant wedding because you want something more, he's just going to go ahead with the wedding anyway, even though it costs you too much money. There's a lot of conflicting energy here, Aries. One person wants one thing, and the other person wants something totally different. And they're trying to hold on. The other person wants to let go. Well, I guess this shield was right. Get out your shield and don't be afraid to snap if you need to because you can't fight City Hall. That's what I'm going to call this. In honor of my husband, who thinks he's so funny, <laughs> you can't fight City Hall. <laughs> Romance Angels, what do you have to say for the Zodiac? sign of Aries. I feel like City Hall is going to win for July 2019. What do my Aries friends need to know about this reading on the table? This reading is like, oh no, that's like three cards. Hold on. This reading is so conflicting. It's so hard to read. Because there's so much different energy here. Angels, can I have two cards, please, for the zodiac sign of Aries? They don't even know what to give me because of all this conflicting energy. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. All right, well, that's always a happy card. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So somebody is begging. Like, I feel like this person just doesn't have any self-respect. They don't want this to end, and they're holding on to it so tightly that they're just not even romantically attractive. And they need to calm down. Calm down, flirt, laugh, enjoy life, and then you'll be attractive. Can I have one more card, angels, please? For the zodiac sign of Aries for July 2019. What does Aries need to know? Well, that's too many cards. I don't like to take all those because I feel like it's conflicting. But I will take this one because it flipped up. See, I said somebody met somebody else. Hmm. 
You want to get away from this person and just keep telling them no. Because you're flirting with someone else. This could be the one. This other person is just wasting their time. Somebody has made their decision and they're standing their ground. They want out. Let's pull some guardian angels. Well, that popped out right away. I'm always hesitant to take them when they popped out right away, but I guess they know what I'm going to say. Ace of Thought. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved. Don't be dissuaded by the little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. So that's your new beginning, Ace of Swords. And they want you to communicate with this other person clearly and thoroughly who keeps challenging you. This is my decision. I want my new beginning. And that's the way it's going to be. And I'm going to stand my ground strength yep you have great courage and kindness you may not realize how strong and powerful you are but there's no problem you can't solve the compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no wow that just summed up the whole reading you're such a kind-hearted person that you almost feel bad for ending this relationship with this person who probably doesn't have anywhere to go and any money. They might not even have a job. But the compassion that you give to others must also be given to yourself. So they're telling you to think of yourself in this situation. And don't worry about this other person. That other person is not your problem. If you're not happy in a situation, then you gotta go. Because they fell out so fast, although they did resonate with the reading really well, I do feel like I want to get one more Aries. What other messages do you have for Aries for July 2019? One of my Aries friends needs to know. Oh, I'm not taking all of those. There's no way. That was way too much. One card. Oh, they just want to give them to me, don't they? I'm going to put those away because I have one card here. Oh, no, I don't. I have two. Just take them. Just take them. I heard somebody just say that. No, I'm not taking them. Here it is. Messenger of action. Something new and exciting related to creativity or your... Okay, Aries, so sorry about that. Um, I reached back to grab my chair and I knocked my chair over, I knocked my table over, I knocked my camera over. Everything was a mess. I had to stop my camera and um, <laughs> let me go back to this. Uh, my husband came running up here and screaming, Are you okay? Okay, I thought you had a heart attack. All right, anyway. <laughs> Um, messenger of action your final outcome card this is it something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going although you may feel insecure do it anyway this card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything so even though you feel like this new relationship is risky, and it's at the very beginning stages, it's new and it's exciting and you are eager about it. It's the page of wands. It's good news. I'm going to leave that there, Aries. We'll move into angel answers. Um, sorry about anyway, like all that mishap because I was at the end of this reading and I wasn't doing it over just because I knocked everything over. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Angel answers. You can start Woo. focusing on your question now. I'd rather you not pick your number until all three cards are down on the table. Once the third card is down, you can pick 
one, two, or three. Go with your gut, follow your first instinct, and then once you have your number, you can't change your mind. You're not going to get the clarity that you need for the answer to your question if you change your mind. All right, are you ready? Here's your answers, Aries. Number one, look for a sign. Number two, the situation will improve. And number three, perfect timing. So look for a sign to me means that someone is questioning whether they're doing the right thing or not. And the angels are saying that the signs are there. I feel like this is the perfect time. You had the Wheel of Fortune backing that up to make this move, make this change. Stand your ground. Tell this person no. This situation will improve. They will eventually go away and leave you alone or whatever it is that improvement means to you. It might be in the distant horizon, but it will happen. So just hang in there and keep your strength. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for watching. Have a great July, and I will see you soon.